Hey, I'm Melissa. And I'm Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> So I've been making cakes for 15 plus years and desserts and um, actually owned a brick and mortar business for about nine years. And it just so happened that on the day that I signed my lease for my last location, I was born. she was born. So she has been in the baking world since day one. Um, I did go to culinary school for baking and pastry but I have also learned a lot from just being on Instagram and YouTube and trial and error. So there's a lot you can learn out there um, online. Um, do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? How old you are? I am six years old. We're not going to say how old I am. <laughs> She did, in fact, take a down rod and hit a cake, and my employees kind of freaked out, so we fixed it. Couldn't even tell. It was the front of a wedding cake, and a week later, she was in daycare. So she was in our kitchen, in my shop, for about a year and that three months. Years. No. <laughs> I do it all like my mommy. What? Is that good? What's your favorite dessert? That's a macaron. You like raspberry macaron? Yes. And what's your favorite thing about bacon? That sometimes we can make up our own recipes with the different recipes and like add stuff to it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, I like the artistic part and coming up with new flavors and stuff. Yeah, so that's... you'll be on this journey with us as we teach you what we know, as we learn new things with you, and um, we just look forward to what's to come. Today's episode is called uh, Buttercream Dream. Today we're going to talk about buttercream, different types of buttercream. I'm going to show you the type of buttercream I make, the butter I use. And then we're going to, <laughs> we're going to do some basic techniques. Jasmine's going to pipe for us. I'm going to teach you all how to pipe and teach her how to pipe. And we'll how see how, pipe. we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You, you got a little towel around me. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, we'll be talking about buttercream today. So there's three types of buttercream that I'm actually familiar with. There's American buttercream, there's Swiss meringue buttercream, and there is Italian buttercream. Do you know the difference in all? Yes. So What's the difference? What do you think the difference is? I think some of them are lighter and some of them are darker. As in texture or color? Uh, texture and color. Yeah, yeah, that could be part of it. American buttercream is actually typically um, sweeter. Yeah. Okay. American buttercream is typically sweeter. It does crust over because it has a higher sugar content. Kids like that type of icing. Yeah. And there's Swiss meringue. So Swiss meringue and Italian buttercream are both made with egg whites. Swiss meringue is actually made by taking egg whites and sugar and creating what you create with a Swiss meringue buttercream, you make Swiss meringue with sugar and egg whites. Warm that gently and then cool it down, create the meringue, and then create the buttercream. And Italian buttercream is probably my favorite. It is the hardest to make, really not that hard once you learn the technique. It's not safe for kids to make. 
um, because you have to use boiling sugar, egg whites, and pour the hot syrup into the egg white to create the meringue <coughs> before you make the buttercream. Italian buttercream and Swiss meringue buttercream are silkier um, in texture. They're not as sweet. Italian buttercream is the least sweet of the three. I'm not making any of those today. Nope. I am going to make a, well, we're going to make a buttercream that is made from a royal icing. So we're gonna make royal icing buttercream. Traditionally, royal icing is made with egg whites, but if you don't wanna use egg whites, then you can use meringue powder. You can use meringue powder for this. Any brand of meringue powder works. You can find it at craft stores, baking supply stores online. There's nut-free meringue powders that are processed in a plant that don't have nuts. What? So you start with that and it's a royal icing buttercream. I actually got this recipe from somebody else on Instagram. Mercy Cakes. She has a ton of followers. She's been on Food Network. I have loved it ever since. It's very stable and easy to make. We use a specific type of butter. We use challenge butter and it's backwards right now. Oh, it's either in a blue package or a red package. I'm not sure which packaging they have right now. We use that because for one, um, the color is different. It's the lightest color that I have found. This one? Yeah. This one is Challenge Butter, and hopefully you can tell it's lighter than other brands um, yeah, of buttercream. So. And if I'm doing a wedding cake or something like that, I wanna get as white as possible because nobody wants a yellow cake. There's ways to correct that, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Also has a higher fat content. Don't oh, she did not lick this butter. Girl. <laughs> it just tastes better to me, um, a little bit more pure um, for my liking, and creamier. So now we're gonna make our buttercream. We're gonna put the meringue powder in. Go ahead, Jazz. Let's show what it is. Let's stop. Do you know why there's salt in buttercream or in desserts? So it doesn't just taste really sweet. Yeah. So so they don't like think it's really yucky because if it's too sweet, it will going to be. Yeah. So we add salt so that it's not as sweet, and then also helps bring out other flavors. She likes to taste the powder when it puffs it up. Yes. Yeah, so now we're gonna add the water. I don't know why you put water in here, so don't ask me this question. And then we're going to add our powdered sugar to make the royal icing. And then we're going to mix it for about five minutes after we add that. Powdered sugar, it's really messy. Because it ends up all over our house. Hey, it's not my fault. It's, it's people's fault why they made uh, powdered sugar. It's their fault for making powdered sugar. We have our trusty KitchenAid mixer that has lasted me three years. Oh, she had this like when it, when she owned the bakery. This has been for ages. Oh, it might help if we plug in. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Scrape it so all of the sugar gets incorporated and you don't have a bunch of clumps in it. This is what it should look like when they're finished. And yeah. Now, now we're going to add our flavor. Um, we put vanilla in it and I also use almond extract in my buttercream. If somebody has a nut allergy or they just hate almond, um, I'll take it out. You can also use clear vanilla. It doesn't add any more color to it. But I don't have clear vanilla, so I'm using regular vanilla. It looks like marshmallow with chocolate. So now the fun part, we get to add the butter. For the purposes of this, we're going to use both brands I had so that you can see how you can actually correct the yellow color in a little bit. So what's going to happen is it's going to look curdled initially for a while and you have to let it mix for say 15 to 20 minutes to get it nice and smooth. You know what, what the purpose of getting in your mixing bowl as full as possible with buttercream? You know what it does? No. It makes your buttercream smoother. It prevents, <coughs> it prevents 
it prevents a lot of air bubbles. So the fuller your mixing bowl is, the better it is. Now the good thing about buttercream is you can freeze it. So if you don't need to use all of it right away, it can be frozen in an airtight container and you can pull it out later to thaw out and then you put it back in your mixer and you work it back and smooth it back up. So we're gonna add the butter and then um, let it mix for a very long time. Wow. about probably 15 minutes. As you saw in the last clip, um, the icing is kind of yellow. So what we're going to do is add some purple. The reason this works is because on the color wheel, do you know what the color wheel is? Have you seen the color wheel? The opposite color, the complementary color of purple is yellow. So the complementary color of red is green and blue is orange. I love blue and orange. Blippi! Shout out to Blippi. Shout out to Blippi. <laughs> the purple and the yellow. So if you're a mom and you use concealer or anything like that, if you have purple under your eyes, they usually have like some yellow that you can put on your eyes and it neutralizes or if you have... It turns no, it just neutralizes the color. It turns and then your skin if like you have a red spot, they have like green concealer that you can use. But I haven't the same used thing that in a long time. time. You do not need to use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this purple food coloring and we're going this. to use a toothpick to add it because we don't want a lot of purple to actually turn it purple. Right, so take a little toothpick bit and show them how much. In the lips. So we can add. If you think it'll turn um, black because it looks like black for us in the camera, um, it will turn white. So she's going to add a little bit at a time. Mix it some more. Okay, nope. that's enough for now. But not now. that much, so we, we can keep making this color. So we're gonna mix it and we're gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it was in the beginning. You can see it's kind of yellow, but this is it now. White. Well, and it won't be completely white. Yeah. Because you can't remove the yellow, but Hold it does, on. I don't know where she's going. But we did add a couple more toothpicks worth, no, we're not putting that in here yet. Purple I know, to but it. It's not gonna be white actually, because we're gonna put the color orange. Right? Well, <clears throat> tip, yes, we're gonna do orange because we're gonna show piping techniques on a white surface. So we yeah, need to make really it like orange, orange icing. It's not going to get perfectly white because it just, it can't, mm -hmm. but you can see Different. Hopefully a little bit different. So this one's a little bit more yellow and this one's a little bit white. Hot dog. Now that you know a little bit about buttercream, next time we're going to teach you a little bit about piping. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Bye. Buttercream. I love buttercream. <laughs>